I'm the ugly cousin. I'm a little bit of a mess right now. I'm like the ugly. I just really hate being myself. <sighs> That, my friends, is an example of self-deprecating content. Now, I've been laying low, and I've just been seeing a lot of tubers make content that's self-deprecating, which means you're talking shit about yourself. And I just, I just haven't been saying anything about it. But lately, it's getting out of hand. Well, it's to the point where it used to be super funny and relatable, but it's getting overdone. I think people are trying to be negative or just hating themselves on purpose to become more quirky and fun, but I see right through that. I I see why it works, and I acknowledge that it's pretty freaking smart, but let me tell you guys, it's getting repetitive. And with any marketing technique that's gotten really repetitive or just needs awareness, you guys know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna expose the shit about it. And this is when it leads us to today's video. Why is everybody doing self-deprecating content, and why is it working so well? That's what we're gonna talk about, and we're gonna dive right in. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jade and I've just been doing a lot of fancy videos lately a lot of animation My editor here is amazing and has just been really stepping up the quality game If you're a part of the Darm Nation and you've always you know supported our channel I want to thank you so so much. I am nominated for a South by Southwest interview So I need your freaking help you guys know that I'm I don't get any opportunities for cool shit So like this is really important for us if you guys don't know South by Southwest is an event of the year for all creative artists artists and people in the music industry um, and I don't know why I'm talking about this and I don't know how I got the opportunity but if you're guys able to click the link below and vote for us all we need is a thousand votes I'm going to shut the fuck up very soon and start the video but just please keep me in mind if you'd like to make my day that would be so appreciative and once you're done voting just comment below and I'll literally give you a giant hug okay so yeah let's start today's video and make sure to vote for us for the South by Southwest nomination I want to be authentic and just sometimes just chit chat and talk about something just affecting me personally. And it's the fact that I like to over analyze things to the point where I can't even enjoy it. Like, I, you don't understand, like, you guys know I do a lot of marketing analysis, but it's to the point where I can't even watch a normal YouTube video anymore. Like, my mind is always just analyzing the psychology behind it, so it's been taking a toll. So we're gonna take a little, a little breather and just kind of be more relaxed with today's video. This is not an episode for the Logical Fallacy series or my startup series. This is just laid back, old school Jade, all right? So if we're cool with that, we're gonna jump right in. And if you're so far excited, just make sure you give this video a like. So I know you're the real one, because if you're the real one, you would know that I used to not make like really high production videos. I would just sit in my car and talk. So uh, we're gonna do that. So let's get started with the first obvious question, which is why does self-deprecating content works? And honestly, guys, just sum it up. I personally think we, as human beings, right, just don't like seeing successful people, pretty people, win. I don't know what it is. I know everyone's about having their own, like, hype squad or, you know, girl supporting girls and shit. But, like, at the end of the day, human beings are emotionally feeling attacked if we see someone win. And the reason why I think this is true, and you can disagree with me, is just I think that we are all so competitive at nature. I'm going to take another example from, you know, science class. Charles Darwin, who basically came up with the Charles Darwin theory, right? Stupid bitch, it's called natural selection. Oh my god, this is not going to be a good video. <laughs> but basically, Charles Darwin is a scientist and he basically came up with this concept that the best only survive or the people of the fittest survive, which means basically in the animal kingdom, the species that are the slowest, the most stupid will die off just because the climate's changing, right? So the ones that evolve, change, and are smart will keep going. And that's why I think there's nothing wrong to admit that humans are naturally competitive. It's just because that's how we survive. And putting this into the YouTube landscape, I find myself just like, I don't know, it's getting to the point where I can't even watch a YouTuber anymore without just feeling really insecure and i thought there was something wrong with me i don't know about you but if you're a youtuber or a creator you know that like sometimes when you watch youtube videos it's not for youtube it's for market analysis and you're just trying to watch your competition and see what they're doing and i think there's nothing wrong with you know spying on people and again it's like i thought there was something wrong with me but i realized just as human beings this is a completely normal emotion and i feel like we should have more healthier conversations around this rather than what i did which is blame myself so that's why i think youtubers and you've seen a lot of teenagers on YouTube. I personally watch, you know, make self-deprecating content because an audience loves it when pretty people talk shit about themselves or successful people don't think they're the shit. I know it's humbling, but it's to the point where I think we find so much satisfaction from seeing that happen that it's just becoming, it's just trying to validate our own emotions. Like, oh, if Sally's beautiful and says she's the shit, it's just kind of, it's just like in our heads, we want to see Sally, who's gorgeous, 
say she's ugly so we can feel better about ourselves because if Sally's beautiful, she's confident, she has it all, it's a sign that we're losing. Because when we're in competition, it has to imply that someone's winning and someone's win equals our loss. And I didn't realize this entire thing until literally yesterday. I was driving in the car and I was listening to a book called The Courage to Be Disliked. And it looks like this. My friend Rafi recommended it to me, so shout out to him. And it made some really, really interesting remarks in regards to competition. That the fact that we're, you know, as humans, we're trying to evolve and just become really great. But like, at the same time, if we think everyone's our competition, I feel like it's just like, it's like when you're clenching your ass 24 seven, like you just get really stressed out and you can't trust anybody. And that's exactly what's happening to me lately. Like I realized that I can't consume content, watch YouTube like a normal person. Like all I think about is how I can be better than them or how can I improve off this video. And even in friendships and relationships, like I'm gonna open up about a personal story of mine. I have a friend, let's name him Zach. Zach is a really close friend of mine and I've been told that Zach is very similar to me and just, you know, we're, we're competitors. Like we always are doing the same things and you know, even my parents like get in the fucking way and be like, yeah, you and Zach, haha, who's gonna win? Um, Cause we're both like entrepreneurial in spirit and we're in completely like different industries, but like, I don't know, there's a joke around me and Zach. And I realized I couldn't tell Zach, who was a really, 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 really good friend of mine, things that I should be able to tell a friend. You know, I couldn't say the project I was working on because I was afraid Zach was gonna copy me and then therefore I would let him win in the competition. And this is just extremely unhealthy. It got to the point where me and Zach's friendships, like I would just not talk like ever like I would just make sure before I texted Zach anything that it was not to hurt me and like what the fuck Jay like I don't know if you guys do this I hope I'm not the only one but I feel like so there's a point where you're competitive but then your competitive will hurt you and this is where I kind of draw the line like I think being competitive is great because I'm so fucking competitive where I want to win because I want to improve myself and make myself better but there's a point where being competitive will hurt you because you're gonna be constantly stressed, not trust anyone. And what's what's the point of going around this world if you don't have a team, if you can't rely on people, if you can't get support? It just gets really freaking lonely. And if you guys know my channel, like I, actually, we're gonna pull up some footage. You guys know, I have a struggle feeling I have friends or feeling like I have someone I can talk to. Hey guys, I just feel that I <laughs> and I figured out why. I think I have a problem where I think everyone's competing against me. And everyone that wins is my loss. I think it's called jealousy too, but I guess that's where I feel so lonely because if everyone's my competition and I feel like I have to constantly prove myself to my, even my friends and parents, it causes me to clench my ass and not trust anybody. I feel like I'm just holding and like holding up this like really really like filtered self is just hurting me because i feel like i'm drained i have to consistently put on a mask to make sure i don't like give the competition information when he literally like they're just my friends and they don't want to hurt me but in, and for some reason my fucked up head i i can't seem to appreciate that Woo! okay so it's getting really real here i mean this is our personal things i've been going through i actually love to hear your guys' thoughts and comments i know some people don't really comment on youtube videos but like if you dealt with something like this please 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 comment below like i read every every single word you guys type and it means a lot personally for this topic because i've been going through it um so let me know if you have any advice or relate to it on some sort of level all right to summarize this video why does self-deprecating content work in short seeing people win is sometimes our losses so if people are self-deprecating talking shit about themselves and saying they're unsuccessful in a weird fucked up way we feel good about ourselves and that should not be the case but it's addicting right if some if more and more people keep doing it we want to keep watching them and i feel like there's that's a lot of how most youtubers these days are building their platform by like almost like prying off people's insecurities um and i didn't realize it till like later that i enjoy people talking shit about themselves which is again, really not good. And I'm trying to find a solution. And in the book that I mentioned earlier, the biggest solution that this author recommended is basically the only way to solve this problem of feeling like everyone's in competition is acknowledging that everybody's different. People will have maybe advantages, weaknesses, but at the end of the day, everybody is equal. It's so weird to think about that. And I do believe in equality, but like no matter what, no matter how rich someone is, no matter how poor someone is, they're equal. They have the same values. 
Like there's not one or the other, it's better. Like it's none of that. Like we all have our differences, but you have to also think about this and even on YouTube, like even a YouTuber with a million subs is equal to you. I know that's weird, but like imagine that's how you need to see it in order to have a lot of a healthy understanding of yourself. And even to like bring more shit in, like with my friend Zach, I gotta see us as equal. Like we're we're a team player, like Zach's on my side and it, maybe Zach will do me wrong one day, but at least I don't have to live life clenching my ass 24 seven because it's just a lot of energy. I'll update you on my Zach story because I'm trying to figure that out. But I think my first step will probably having a healthier conversation around like opening up that I have that sort of like thoughts and then after that i think the best thing is to do is just like see us as like an even playing field and just making sure like no matter what no matter how rich successful intimidating someone is we're all equal and the last and most important thing that this book mentions is in order to solve the problem of seeing the world more equal you have to compete not against someone else but yourself. Compete against your procrastination. Compete against yourself last year. Compete against your ego. You want to improve yourself every single day and there's nothing wrong with that. But make sure you're competing against yourself, not someone else. And the minute I realized that Zach, in my scenario, wasn't my competition, that it was myself, it was my own issues and insecurities were my competition, I felt a lot more free and I felt like I didn't have to filter myself and I can finally just let go a little bit. I think I need to trust people more and that will solve my loneliness issue. It will solve my problem thinking I have no friends when in actuality I do, I just don't trust any of them because I'm freaking psycho. And yeah, I feel like that's where I wanna to conclude today's video. If you're suffering from feeling jealousy or your, your parents constantly compare yourself to X, Y, Z, just remember you are equal and compete against your own self, not someone else. That shit is non-comparable. You are genuine in your masterpiece. Like I just realized like human beings are so intricately made. Like we have so many combinations of the way of our experiences and our genetics that like it's so hard to compete because we're just so different, but we're still made equal. So that was today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I love you so much. Um, and shout out to Con Winner. Shout out to the Con Winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you guys want to be the next comment winner, just comment below. PBJ, which is my app, is launching something very soon. So if you guys haven't been, you know, following on Instagram, make sure you do. I would extremely appreciate you guys if you follow me on Instagram and my company's Instagram because you guys can get in the loop of the project we've been working on. We've been building a free personal training site so you guys can get feedback for your videos. So make sure you guys get in the loop for that. And other than that, I'll put all the links below. Make sure you guys vote for us for the South by Southwest competition. I freaking love you guys. Catch you guys in the next one. I love you so, so much and I'll see you very soon.